The names are of women who have been slain in Juarez, as well as the most recent 43 students that were killed. The system, as far as keeping a log of all of those that they've lost, is kind of designed to fail. It's like non-existent. And really, you, you, it's me just peppering through like blogs, organizations, and trying to get access from names in that manner. But then you have thousands that have just disappeared, or you have thousands that are just not accounted for. Just with these 43 students, when they were going to look for them, they found 13 other mass graves. Okay, so this is um, a type of printmaking transfer process. What I've done is printed out the names of the victims. Then I will make copies on a specific copy machine because uh, in the ink it has like an iron oxide that once the acetone hits the ink during the transfer process, it allows the ink to really bleed onto the surface. And so what I'm essentially doing is taking these um, revered names and applying it to the wall and lining it up um, among the other uh, names. And then I take um, a cotton ball, dip it into acetone, and rub it from behind. Once that has been applied and you take it off, um, that ink transfers onto the surface. After I'm done with my transfer process on the wall, I will have almost like a ritualistic moment where I will burn all of these revered names. I have been using ashes for uh, quite some time now. Using the ashes here with the soil where I'll do a layer of soil, a layer of ash, a layer of soil, a layer of ash, and kind of like this life cycle. The way that these, these victims were found are just so unjust and it's almost restaging and giving them a, a proper burial in a sense.